Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this past weekend, I helped to decorate for three events. In this video, we are gonna focus on the second event. It was a baby shower with, guess what? It was a teddy bear theme. <laughs> <laughs> because teddy bear baby shower themes are so popular right now, all right? So let's get into the setup. I tried to do something different, you know, with this balloon backdrop, so you'll just have to let me know what did you think. And then make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because, guys, I have some really good lessons learned for you, all right? So let's get started.
So that was the baby shower. Let me know in the comments, what did you think? At first, I'm gonna be honest, when I was looking at those decorations, I was like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to feel about them. But now when I look back on the pictures, I love how everything came out. And you know what? Those teddy bear baby showers are so popular because they're so adorable. Like, did you see that cake? Like, I'm like, everything about teddy bear baby showers are so, so, so cute and so adorable. So I'm pretty sure there'll be plenty more teddy bear baby showers on this channel. <laughs> you guys will keep seeing me decorate teddy bear baby showers. I think that trend is here to stay. All right, so let's get into the lessons learned because I learned a lot from this event. So the first thing that I wanna let you guys know is that as you can see, a lot of sun was shining through my boxwood backdrop. Even though I put a cover on it, there was still a lot of sun that was shining in because I set up the backdrop pretty much in front of windows. I mean, it was nothing but windows. And when I came in, you know, and I was asking the client, where does he want the balloon backdrop? He had his heart set on that location because it was in the center of the room, right? And everybody could see it. But I did let him know, you know, that with pictures and everything, that may not be the best place, you know, to put the balloon backdrop. So I was scrolling through Instagram um, a couple of days ago, and what I seen was someone who did another teddy bear um, baby shower. And what I noticed was that they put a wall of curtains. So they put some draping up against the windows and then they put their decorations in front of there. So I thought to myself, oh my gosh, like that's how you keep the sun from shining in too much. Because if the sun is shining in too much, I mean, I know everybody loves these big, great windows, but if there's too much sun shining through, then that can mess up your pictures, right? And if you're paying for a professional photographer, you wanna make sure you get some really nice pictures. So that's a tip for you guys. If you have a client that, you know, they have their heart set on putting decorations, your balloon backdrop right in front of these huge windows, and you have a lot of sun shining in, you want to recommend to them to put some draping, you know, put a wall of draping behind it, and that'll keep, you know, some sunlight coming through, but just not too much. And here's my second lesson for you guys. So earlier this week, I put out a tutorial on how to create a dried floral arrangement. If you haven't seen that, I'll be sure to put a link in the description so you could check that out. My client specifically requested to have a large dried floral arrangement in with the balloon. So that's the reason why I created one. Now, in my floral arrangement, I use these. These are like dried wheat sheaves. I think that's what they're called. When you are putting a floral arrangement, a dried floral arrangement in with balloons, you don't wanna use these. <laughs> so I learned that the hard way. These, this wheat, is kind of just like grass. And you know when you put balloons up against grass, they start popping. And it's the same thing with these. These were popping all of my balloons constantly. Like I had to keep adding more and more and more balloons around that um, dried floral arrangement because these just kept popping the balloons. It got to the point where we just had to start taking these out of it because it was just popping too many balloons and it was messing up the shape of my balloon garland. Like I was like, oh my gosh, like I wanted to scream because my balloons kept popping and my balloons normally don't pop at all. So if you're gonna be making a dried floral arrangement that's gonna be on the floor, you're more than welcome to use these. I love the way that these look. But if you're gonna be putting something, you know, if you're gonna be putting the floral arrangement in with the balloons, don't use these. And here's my last tip for you guys. Even though I loved, and I mean I loved that floral arrangement, it was a little bit too big. So the next time that I create something like that for balloons, to put in balloons, I'm gonna make it smaller. 
Because it was so big, I had to use zip ties and really make sure I tied it tightly to the backdrop. And because of that, it was behind the balloons, right? So I want to do it next time to where as the floral arrangement is in front of the balloons. But if I do that, it just can't be too heavy, right? So the next time I create, you know, a dried floral arrangement because I think that theme is here to stay, right? The whole boho theme, teddy bear baby shower, I don't think that's going anywhere. So the next time that I do that, I'm actually gonna make a smaller arrangement. I may not use the big palm spears, I'll probably just use the smaller ones. All right guys, so that was my lessons learned. I hope they were helpful to you. If you have any questions on the balloon colors that I use, if you have any questions on any of the materials that I use, please make sure you check the description of this video. If you have any other questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video.